And good evening, everybody! Man with a plan here. Welcome back to the beautiful world of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. Super, super pumped to have been returning today. Absolutely been loving this. Thank you guys so much for all of the enjoyment on the last episode. Ah, my meat's done, as you just saw on the top of the screen there. I am in the midst of spoiling a lot of meat. A lot of meat. I wasn't too sure if Little Scratchers was going to work out for us, being the diddy little level that he was, but actually, he's turning out pretty useful, aren't you, Scratchers? You're not doing too bad for a little level 19. Not bad at all. Now, over here, a blue drop has just landed. Now, this is actually the very first drop that I have picked up in this season so far. I really haven't done anything on it because I've been building so much. So now, I'm super pumped to have you guys with me when we get our very first blue drop. Be something amazing, don't be terrible. Oh, it's a metal pick. That's pretty sweet, actually. That saves me another metal pick. That's all right. That's not bad. I would have preferred a blueprint, but you know, I ain't splitting hairs here. I'm not gonna be uh, not gonna be one of those people. I could have been this. Well, it could have been something amazing, but then again, it could have been a crop plot, so... <laughs> now, really going to do a huge, huge thing of hitting every drop that I'd see. There's one over there, but I might not be able to get to it. Um, oh, actually... That's not even came down yet, and it's pretty close. Yeah, I might have a run over there in a second by the time it's hit the floor. So, the plans for today, people. The plans for today are fairly interesting, actually. There's a couple of options available to us. Let me show you... Oh, door. Let me show you what I've been up to at the moment. We have the starting of a bedroom. A little funky double bed, some doors, some doors, some boxes, and some storage, and still absolutely nothing up here. But I would really like to get to work on the bullet factory up here, because we are going to need an unbelievable amount of ammunition for trying to take on the bosses solo. We are also going to need some super powerful dinos. Now, I hadn't really been playing Ark when the updates hit that allowed mutations and things like this and family trees, but I believe if I hold Y on this guy that there is an option somewhere neuter him? is that not a thing? ah there you go, yeah, neuter alright, so um yeah, definitely a thing definitely quite an interesting thing ooh, ooh, it's a scorched earth drop too Oh, I'm definitely going to go check that out. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making up a buttload of narcotics as well because we are at the stage where we could do with some higher level guys that we have or some of the other guys we don't have yet. A Dodicarus would be amazing so we can upgrade the house to stone. An Anki would be incredible so we can get a buttload more metals. Would be super handy. I also need to find the nearest metal node to me. I don't know where they are around here. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff to do. I'm going to head over there and pick up that drop as it's almost at the floor. And I'm going to get to work on spoiling some more meat and gathering up some stuff so that we're able to get to work on crops is also a huge need we need to get them started straight away and yeah i've also eyed up a stego that if i tame will help us towards an argy so yeah plenty of things for me to do here quite excited to get along with it so i'm going to grab this drop i may as well keep you guys with me we can see what the treasure unholds for us now i've noticed that these ones have a slightly higher chance of having something awesome inside them. Let's see. Oh, a bl ooh, a blue pick and a compass blueprint. I don't know about the compass blueprint. I don't ever recall finding them to be incredibly useful, but the blue pick, I believe, would be a, a ramshackle? The ramshackle one? And a pr ah, it's an apprentice pick. Oh, even better. Yeah, that's a good find. Sweet bonus. Loving it. All right, I'm going to get along, and I'll bring you guys back when I've made a bit of headway. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Here we are. Another little level up for us. That's because we've been making lots and lots and lots of narcotics. We're <laughs> a poop and a level up at the same time. I was so excited I sharted myself. Amazing. Uh, yeah, and still not quite done all of them yet, but there is plenty of narcoberry for the time being. And I have a whole, we have a whole 86 trank arrows. I feel that could be enough, but I'm not entirely sure. What I'm considering is there is a l rather beautiful looking male stego. Come on, game lag, there you go. Over in a, that kind of direction somewhere. 
um, level 44, and it would make a fantastic breeding specimen. Mostly just to mate boost so I can get eggs to feed them to RGs, so that I can get better RGs, which makes a fantastic idea. So I'll tell you what, let's actually take... I keep looking at the staircase instead by mistake. Let's actually take all of those guys. And all of those guys. I would expect that to be plenty. Uh, maybe take the stuff to be able to make a few more arrows. Just to be super, super sure that we definitely have enough to take this guy down. No more stone. It is fiber and flint is what I'm after. One of you. There's the flint. And another one of you. Let's see here. Back out of there, back out of there. Ooh, weapons, ammo. These guys. Craft all 100. Let's do about that many of them, I guess. Or we could just hit the craft all. Why wouldn't we? Yeah, we'll give that a second to tick out while we go over and see this guy. Now, I'll bring the raptor with me. Just because I feel a lot safer having scratches with me. He's pretty good at killing things. And I'm going to be taking Madonna along for the ride too. Because she's carrying all the berries to be able to feed the thing. Now, there is one of these super horrible things. There it is, in the distance. And it's super aggressive. It is really not a friendly customer. Not at all. So, I've got to consider whether it's going to be worthwhile taming this thing with that thing around before I actually consider taking it on. Well, he's over there. The stinger I saw last. Ah, he's over here. Yeah. Yeah, we could do this. We could indeed do this. I'm keen. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think we're far enough away from him. I think we're going to be okay. Because, of course, the worry is I have to tell these guys to go passive. Otherwise, they're just going to attack the freaking thing. And I really don't want them to do that. Mm, about that many. I don't want to waste all the narcotic. Definitely wait until I'm finished crossing. I'm going to need to run away from this thing. I hope you two are going to be okay. Really, really do. Shouldn't have a huge problem with this thing beating the pants out of me. I believe it should be okay. Hello there, little purple. Ah, oh, you're a male. Nah, no interest. Got a male, thank you. You're going the wrong way. That's better. Look at you. These were one of my favorite dinos when I was a kid. Absolutely loved Stegos. Big, big, hulky, beautiful things. Loving the green scaling. I'll just let this thing craft up the last few more. Because I'd really like a headshot to get started with. Hiya there, buddy. You are a male, aren't you? You are indeed a male. That will make it very easy. All I'll need is females. So, there's still a second. There you go. Oh, balls. <laughs> Loving the new combat music as well, it's super awesome. That's it, now you can't be running away already. These things have quite a reach, so we definitely have to keep... Oh, hello! Well away from him, ow, my butt. You're quite a mover you are, aren't you? Get a little bit, see if he gets confused with the trees, that'd be awesome. Ha ha ha, there we go. Yeah, so you just hang out there for a second. Good idea to be carrying food on your hot bar for moments just like that. Come on now. You are feeling very, very sleepy. You're gonna be my friend. You're gonna make all the ladies feel super, super happy. So they poop lots of eggs for me. Now, don't want to kill you. There we go. Excellent. Absolutely 
Uh, let me take the arrows out of your head for you. There you go. Oh, mind you, beauty. Amazing. Right, let's bring you guys back over. Let's set you to neutral now. And this guy can work as a little bit of primitive defense in case that freaking thing comes back over here. Grab the berries. Now, berry taming a stego is going to take a long time. It really is. Uh, I'm on... I think it's three times is the taming multiplier that you can standardly set. So I turned it up all the way. In the hopes that it won't take me forever to be able to do it, because I don't have that much time with work and such things. Let's chuck all of these on here, and just leave him to chew himself away while I gather up the materials and get started on the bullet factory. Oh, baby, would you look at that? That's absolutely perfect. We happen to be just taming a stego at the moment. That's super useful. Amazing. Alright, let's get back to it. Oh, baby. That's the one. Kite and Gauntlet's pretty good, but that. Super, super chuffy with that. A ramshackle long right? That is the stuff we're talking about. Super, super sweet. And I am way too heavy for my raptor. Apologize for the incredible dark, but kind of working on it through the night time. I'll bring you guys back when we're finished. Ah, welcome back. And good morning, everybody. This little guy has been chewing on berries all night. And he's at 24.4%. So, yeah, even with the timing speed turned up, this is a very long process using only mayo berries. So, um, he has plenty. He has plenty to eat. That's really not the problem. The problem is that this dude's here again. Now, this was the super aggressive dino that I randomly walked into to see if it was aggressive, and it turns out it definitely is. It is most positively an aggressive dino. There's another blue drop there. It's been drops galore for me recently. And levels galore as well. I've been putting all my stuff onto Madonna here. And you won't believe what I found. Yes, it is. A ramshackle long neck rifle. Super, super pleased. The stego saddle as well. Some chitin gloves. Yeah, all pretty good stuff. Most of this stuff is just built up for the uh, bullet factory. But I haven't been able to go and do it because this guy's hanging around. And I don't want him to chew on my trike. So... I'm going to head over to that blue drop. He appears to be stuck on the tree, but I did see he was just like that earlier in another tree. And now he's over here, so... Hmm, definitely could be a thing. I wonder if I could knock him out too. I could try. If he gets free, he might eat my stego. What we got here? Another crop plot. There is all the medium crop plots, and sadly, I already bought it. I've already wasted the points on it, which was very, very foolish. So, really, when you're playing single player, drops should be your life. You should always, always get them. You're going to need the skills that they contain. But alas, I was too busy building a house, so I wasn't worrying about it so much. Now, these guys are set to neutral. This is probably an incredibly stupid idea, considering I don't even know what level it is. But it appears like it is trying to walk forward, and it can't. So, if I make it chase me this way... Maybe, just maybe, it will stay caught in said tree. These things are pretty quick as well as the worry. Okay, now he's running away and he's still caught in the tree. You go there, you go there, come on, man. I want to know what you are. I know you're Thor's you know, Thoris, I think it was called when you killed me in the last episode, but. Definitely, definitely not friendly. Oh no. The sound of him eating berries, I've already got right, free. Closer than this, I'm not falling for your trick at all, I'm running away. I don't even know if it can even be knocked out. Or if it is a passive tank. I have absolutely no idea. I guess we'll find out. Oh 
it's free. Okay, it's free. This is really, really bad. It is going to turn back around again, and it will come running at us. I'm absolutely positive on it. Seems to have calmed down and is wandering around over there. Okay, well that's that's one way to get rid of him. I am not going and chasing him down because I know he will chew me into pieces in an instant. So um, yeah, he can he can live over there for a while. I'm I'm totally down with that. I really don't mind. Oh, that could have gone very badly. What the balls? He was at 24.4. Now he's at. What? I am really confused. I'll have to watch the recording back then because I'm sure I read it right. Nevertheless, I shall bring you guys back when this is all taken care of. Alright. That should be. The last monster and pestle I'll need, nine of them, excellent, that should be just fine. And I think, if the timing is right... Oh, not quite right. One more then? Yeah, it's gotta be one more. Super awesome, super awesome. So, yeah, let's just load this stuff in, that should take just a hot second for that to be done. Got my mortar and pestles and stuff now, and yeah, that should be everything I'm going to need to be able to make what I want. I'm going to have to have a quick drink. Last piece of meat as well. Quite an excursion, it really has taken quite a long time to get that done, but I've got everything uh, built that I'm going to be needing. I believe, probably not, because it's arc. Come on, one more bite. You want one more bite? Just one more. Yeah, just one more bite, and you should be my best friend forever. I think it's going to be a thing. I definitely do. Oh, baby. Diplo. That's all the high and prime meat right there. Oh, I forgot. We tamed another dodo. No, don't stress out on my dodo. What is wrong with you? You abusive creature. Come here, Pickles. Get you away from him. Oh, now you're just going to chase me. They do get bored eventually. Yes! I will as soon as this thing has stopped chasing me. Yeah, they do get bored eventually. It doesn't take them very long until they forget what they were doing and then they just wander off. <laughs> there you go, Pickles. Alright! Yeah, we did it! We did it! We got our Stego. Uh, I'm not entirely certain on the name. I know, I'm sorry, but you got stuck on a tree, so... Kinda has to happen if you get yourself stuck on a tree. I did not go to chop down the trees while he was still taming, because for some reason if you use a tool anywhere near a creature, even facing completely the opposite direction, you will injure it and you'll lose taming effectiveness. Excellent stuff, yeah. Super pleased having a male stegger. That will make things a lot easier when we come to get a flyer. I am considering skipping the Pteranodon thing. I know that they are the first flyer. We could have one right now, but I actually kind of enjoy the challenge that it produces from not having one. I don't know if I can knock that thing out. I'm not sure. I want to have a play with that. So. I'm going to get back, get these guys settled in, get all of the stuff that I need off of the trike, and we will have a look at setting up our bullet factory. Sweet. Alright. Appears I can carry all of that, which is pretty awesome. Now, I put down a couple of things, just so that I can actually move up here and carry everything else up. So, we've got a door. The general idea is I'm actually going to put a platform out here for flyer use. Seems like a really good place for it. Got ourselves some funky windows. These will be used to fill up the storage containers from the outside. Which I'm going to place down now. Only one in front of each will suffice quite nicely on this side. Be like that. And like that. And like 
that. And falling down the steps. This will be a little bit more difficult, this one. Make sure she's lined up nice and square. More as square as it can be. That'll be it. And like that. Excellent. So, yeah. Nextly, we're going to fill this area as much as we can with fires. So we'll fill this area all with wood. This one will be flint stone. So, what I'm going to do as well is put these over here. Over here. Hmm, let's lay down the fires first and see how, how much room this takes. So, ooh, let's have a quick double check what it will actually need to be. Nope, oh, sorry. No, 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 it wouldn't be. It would be eight flint and four stone. Four stone and then the gunpowder is one one. So if we have three benches with three of the mortar and pestles on each one, then we are going to need six, twelve, twenty-four, forty eight, and then three of those. I don't know, a botload. I can't do the math now, it's fairly late in the evening for me. So let us equip these guys as best as we can because really we want to be able to fill these up without having to walk around too much for them but we will see how it works out that's not looking too bad at all actually not looking too bad that would be nine yeah that's nine of them okay pretty sweet Do I got any wood on me? Can I make a railing? I think I do. Sweet. What the? How the crap did that happen? many of the campfires as I would have liked to have seen down. So what we can do as well is like that and like that. We wouldn't go another two there. Oh, we probably could actually, couldn't we? Yeah, that would work out quite well. I'll have to make up another one campfire. Which I think I actually have on the trike. Along with the mortar and pestles, or am I carrying them? No, sweet, excellent. I think just putting them down at random angles makes it a little bit more haphazard, a little bit more real. Excellent! All the mortar and pestles we could ever need. I'll grab that other campfire. And I believe... Oh, oh, look at that, just at the end of the evening too. Perfect timing. But that will be all the time that we are going to have for today, guys. What an eventful day. What an eventful day. I am super, super pleased with this. I'm sorry for seeming a little bit more mellow than usual. It's kind of late in the evening for me, so I'm nice and relaxed, nice and chilled. Quite enjoying having a weekend off on a bank holiday. Beautiful girlfriend, that's all going on today, this so I have all the time to catch up and play. Super, super pleased. It's been amazing. Thanks ever so much again for coming and joining me there, guys. Always really, really appreciate it. Absolutely great times. Hope you've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed having making it. So, yeah, I'm thinking this will work fairly well for our bullet factory. Still, like one of the bigger ones I've done. Marvelous. Take care now, everybody. If you have enjoyed the episode, hit that like for me. And if you are looking forward to the rest of them, hit that subscribe. There's going to be plenty more coming. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Take care now. And I hope to see you all.